hey guys, look at this. Every time we protest against the government and come down here, they shut off the eternal, the centennial flame. Hmm, wonder what that's all about. They just uh, don't want us to uh, know. And anyway, I'm here all about freedom and veterans and uh, I'm gonna share some information with you about our wonderful Parliament Hill here, okay? This wonderful building right there, you know, holds our flag, the national flag on top of it. It's a national timepiece. Has an amazing, amazing bell system inside. I forget what it's called, caroler or something to that effect. Okay, and then downstairs, down on the ground floor, when you walk through the doors that you can't see, you can sort of see, you walk through that archway. There's something important in there. You see, there's three pieces of metal sitting in that archway, okay? And what they are is shrapnel. Shrapnel from World War I, World War II, and the Korean War, okay? They were placed there to remind every parliamentarian and every Canadian that walks under that peace tower of the freedoms Canada has earned, okay? We sacrificed in blood to have the freedoms that we enjoy, or we should enjoy. I wanna give you a quote from Prime Minister Robert Borden, okay? who decided to rebuild this peace tower after the fire of um, that burnt down the parliament buildings. I believe it was in 2016. I can't remember exactly the date, but it burnt the entire parliament building down except for the National Library, which is on the back side. Okay, I wanna give you a quote from him. Okay, on the 1st of July in 2017, the tower will be a memorial to the debt of our forefathers and to the valor of the Canadians who in the great war fought for the liberties of Canada, of the empire and of humanity. Okay? Hey Trudeau, when will you remember our liberties, our freedoms and the rights we have as citizens of this nation. Welcome to the French.